Should I still on this HD thing? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, because I'm going to start it. Oh, we do see that NFL ball. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I just took out the mic. <laughs> nah, I'll put it this whole, I'll put it that all way. <laughs> Style points. You try it. Okay. No, go up to the camera and do it back, walk backwards. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. Oh, I can't move. It's like my legs locked. <laughs> we'll just be like, bang. Welcome back to the John Bunch channel. Double, double, episode 35. The Nick Dacos episode, even though he didn't play this week. Why? He didn't make the final. Uh, back as always every week. Got a lot to talk about this week for one reason and one reason only. And we'll get into that. Uh, as always, <laughs> Schnitz Northland. Do you want to do it? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Schnitz Northland. <laughs> Why am I doing it? <laughs> you do it. No. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go nowhere in this. <laughs> We're too busy worrying about our streaming. Um, just the whole thing, 17% off if you're a subscriber to the Jump Punch channel, make sure you do that. And 25% off if you are a member to the Jump Punch channel, so make sure you do that as well. Uh, like, comment on all the on all the videos, all the posts. Follow the socials, buy the merch, watch the change room, Blue Sunday, Forever Rivals, the Jumper Punch, Double Double. Well, I always forget to say our one. What else is on the channel? Double Double it. Streaming. Double double streaming when we get that up and about, if we can get that up and about. Yeah. Uh, just get over all of it. But you know what? Who couldn't get over all of it? Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh, hey, it's downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> double double streaming is coming live to you guys. Yeah, get prepared. Get prepared. Okay, I think we actually got to like, no, don't open the game. <laughs> but no, it's actually so annoying the sound. Don't play it. It's modern, it doesn't have any sound. Okay, good. Because it does like drumming sounds. It's really oh. annoying. Okay, um, this is very uncoordinated right now. So, what happened? So, the first finals. First finals. I'm just going to jump right into it. You just said you wanted to jump right into the yeah, card game. Let's just jump right into it. So that's all why you're here. And that's really why I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm going to say here. the scores. I reckon I can get the exact scores. So, it was Carlton 11 5 71. Yeah. To Brisbane, I think 14 15 99. I thought it was 13, 15. I don't know. Nine. Is it, is it a, I is swear it, they had more points than goals. Yeah, they had more points than goals. Yeah, I didn't know they were 19. I thought they were like 9. Or was it 13, 14? I thought they were 13, 15. I don't know, you were right the first time. 14, 15, 9, 9 to 11, 5, 71. Uh, I wonder how you guessed that. You maybe were at the game. That's probably yeah, no, right. I can't remember. <laughs> um, well... The game started in such a way where we saw uh, not a record be broken, but history being rewritten. We were the first scoreless team in a final in VFL, AFL history since 1974 to be scoreless. Um, then you went to the second quarter, let a couple more goals go through, and then you were on the brink of being the first ever team to be scoreless at half time. Like about six minutes left, hit the scoreboard a few times. So we were lucky enough. And then after that, the game. You, you know, you showed some fight. But it was like a child punching a grown man. It was like, wasn't really doing much to it. So, just give me, just give me your... I always ask so, you for a quarter-by-quarter quarter breakdown. I really want another quarter-by-quarter quarter breakdown. Going into the game, leading up to the game, I think I was... I thought we were going to win. Like, Thursday I got there. Thought, yeah, we're, we're winning this game. Proving everyone wrong. And I think, how do I explain this? Slowly started to realize logic. And what was the logic? We were going to lose this game. And I started to, logic started, no. I started to realize I was hoping. It was just hope that we were going to win this game. So it was empty belief, realistically. Yeah, because logically I knew, I think, Logically, deep down, I knew we were going to lose the game. Yeah. But the fact but that you're there, it was like, mm, we got to crack just it. Just, just, it just hope. Mm. When I thought it was, it's, it started to turn into hope because I thought we were going to win and I realised I was just hoping. We, I, had, I realised I was saying to myself, hoping we win. I hope we win. I hope we win. I want to win. I want to win. And we didn't win. 
That's it. Evident. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Uh, logic, she's Northley. Logic and hope, two different things. Because logically, we're always going to lose our game. Well, we, we know that. Everyone, like, everyone hears that. We want to hear the real, the, the analytical perspective of sitting up. We want to hear that. We, we know, okay, you really weren't going to win and you didn't win. We know that. Everyone saw that. They saw that. I want to know, coming from your brain, everyone wants to hear what was coming from Dylan's brain from that game. What, what, what did you pick apart from the game? Because there's no what point of me it? saying what it, was it because apart? I don't go What was it to pick apart? Well, I found out TDK was sub. Okay, there we go. Which was a horrible decision. I think the coaching decisions were very bad. Who do you think should have been sub? Not TDK. <laughs> Not TDK. Anyone. Anybody but. Um, I think the coaching decision uh, to sub Kennedy off in the second quarter for TDK is a horrible decision. Mm. Because TDK, um, sorry, Kennedy's done nothing wrong. He's played every game of the season. He came up. Even though I don't think it matters that much, but he had a baby the day before, came up Saturday morning, didn't have to, he could have like said, nah, you know, I just had my kid. So he takes could have done that parental What's, leave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, but <laughs> play, he's, he's, and he's a good player mm. and you just take him off instead of taking off someone like a dirt or something. I didn't realise he was off until like the end of the third. So, I didn't so know. you knew TDK was on, but you know who got swapped sometimes. And it was fucking not. Reception was horrible. No, I knew TDK was on. Yeah, but you didn't I know who thought, got swapped. Oh, for. They it show it on the screen when it gets nah, activated. Not at a really? Yeah, they don't show it. Um, because I realised TDK was on. And I was thinking, I didn't see Pitt in there for a while, so I was thinking, oh, they probably just swapped them around. Mm. Then I saw Pitt in there, and then I, it was just one of those things when you're just like, oh, there's a sub. Who cares? I don't care about mm. it. I never thought it would be Kennedy. Thought it would be like a motlop or something. Then my dad told me, um, it's Kennedy, and I was shocked. And that is a bad decision. And I don't know why he gets picked on like that. I think the Kennedy, no, not the Kennedy, the decision from the start to have TDK as a sub was already the wrong decision. Yeah, very bad start. decision. Get go. That was when he came job. on. If I looked at that and I said, that's fucking when stupid, he came then on, you've got an impact, issue, mate. Immediate impact. He 100%. Did. And then, like, yeah, it was a media impact. And the scores when he came on after he came yeah. on, 71 to 39. Even the first, I think it was the first five clearances. Of the first five clearances, you won three of them. You almost lost the game, on. lost the game at selection. Legit. That's literally what you did. Maybe not selection, maybe, yeah, it's sub is technically That's selection. That is a selection process. But even I said last episode, and we'll get into a little bit of this as well, was it not not, not smart, but... Was it kind of like a pipe dream, like a rush of, yeah, we, we, we have the availability of Doherty playing. Yeah, I don't... Now looking at it, it do you think... Bad. It wasn't bad, but he wasn't like great either. But it was a kind of just he like... He didn't have to be great, but it, I, I... Like he hadn't played in the almost a year. Like he should have played now when you look at it. Because mm. there was also young kids there. Like there's so many... So like you play Doherty, but you drop Chincotta. Yeah. And he's a tagger. Legit. BT was saying that as well. And who do they put? Who do they? And then they get Ollie Holland. And I think Fantasia did a bit too, I heard. Tag Zorko. Mm. Absolutely killed Ollie Holland. Ran fucking mm. 30 fucking 19 in the not first Not his fault. Half. Ollie Holland's fault. It's nah. not his job. He's a winger. He's not meant to be tagging. But then you, why the why drop Chincotta? If you're going to mm. get someone to tag someone, why drop your tagger? It, it's like a kind of, it's like a, Carlton do this this feel good story just to hide the hide the what's the word like hide 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 what <laughs> the result just to oh yeah we're gonna win Doherty's in and stuff yeah. like but and it doesn't like selection was just even like some of the young kids shouldn't have got dropped Motlop he's just I've said it for ages no he's like, not he's a not up player. to him maybe he's he's not should, a football maybe he needs, player full like, season but. She yeah, has not been up to it. Shocking. And then like you have you put Chera in, another useless, just useless. He um and you drop Cooper Lord, a young player, literally the week before, <coughs> got nineteen disposals, Chera got seventeen, he could have done the exact same job as Chera. Why it's like you he brings him in just because of the name, you know? And then like, yeah, just selection really fucked you almost. Oh, not fuck me, fuck you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was fine. You fuck <laughs> yeah. It was almost like Like who do we bring in? Um TDK, Chera. TDK, Chera, Doherty. Wasn't that Sard got bought in as well? 
I was already no, there. I was already in. I was already oh. there. TV cage show, Doherty. Well, the ones I know oh, that... McGovern. Oh, yeah, McGovern, all yeah. All right. Oh, Mackay. Mackay, yeah. And Real. Mackay, he's good. It's just our entries are getting into the 50, oh. kicking it on top of his head. No one's leading for the ball. You're not kicking it to the lead. You're just kicking it into the 50. The same kick over and over again. Do you think as well, although, like you said, the entries are pretty poor, do you think as well that game... I know you're up against Harris Andrews, who's literally like an all-Australian type one-on-one -on -one defender, but is it like that game really did prove Mackay is not a first option forward? Like, it really is like no. Kerno's that first option forward? No. No. So you still think like... I think... It was purely just... What do you mean first option forward? Because when Kerno's in, it's different. It's different because then Mackay can play more upfield. But I'm saying, let's say Kerno just said, you know, I'm going to go sign somewhere else and you're for... You're yeah, equal still trust him. Still trust him. Yeah, it's, it's how your midfielders yeah. deliver it. Or not even your midfielders, whoever delivers it. And because then like if Kerno's in, Mackay plays more up forward. Or they swap around, Kerno goes up more forward, um, like in the middle of the ground, marking yeah. the ball. And then there's like that separation. But he had to, it's just how you're delivering it into the forward 50. That's fucking you up. Do you also think as well with your player's mindset? Because obviously, I don't know if you guys know, you went down 60 to zero. Do you think as well, well, I hate you saying this because people say it about like when Collingwood goes down, it's just such an annoying thing. Was it your mentality as well, seeing that you guys were down that much and at the start of the year you went down pretty much that same kind of deficit and came back and won? Do you think your mentality was also kind of like, well, we've done it before, we can come back and win this? Nah. Yeah, okay. okay I don't I know, like me or the players are saying. Do you think you, do you think your players and team kind of had that mentality where it was like... Well, they would have. When they were down, yeah, you would yeah. have thought, we can do this, we can come back. But... And then you yourself? Even Cripps no. said, nah, oh yeah, I thought we could come back. Like, it's just one of those things, I feel like it was just because it was the finals and yeah. it was going to be over, just fucking do it. Come on, yeah. let's just do it. I, I was saying to myself that it, has to, it would be a miracle. Mm. It's literally, I mean, that's a miracle if we come back. 10 goals, Even that's Cripps literally 10 goals. after the game, he said, when you're 60 points down in a final, you're never going to win yeah, the game. Yeah, no chance. You're never going to win the game. And it's um, disappointing. But I don't, know, I don't know what to say. It's like. But is there also props to give to Brisbane as well? No. Nah, we were shit. But then, do you think it was because you were just out there and said, we're just going to be shit today? Or do you think it was because Brisbane picked you apart and made you look shitter than what you were? No, but we've proved for the whole second half of the season that we've been shit. <laughs> We've been at the three bottom teams. See, so like, if you win that game, the second half of the season doesn't matter. But now you lost that, now you talk about the second half of the season, mm. which was horrible to be bet. So, like where is, bottom, like, where three to worst now? Teams, huh? Where to now? Oh, I don't want to get into that yet. I like, do. That's a, that's a lot of thinking. You know, okay, first, I don't know yet, first but, reaction uh, thinking towards it. I'm not saying this, people are going to come back to this and saying, oh, this is what Dylan thinks. I'm saying, like, as of right now, Voss three days after. Stays, you need to keep Voss. Wait, is that like talk like get rid of Voss? There's people saying it. Really? Yeah, I've heard people say it, but I don't think you. I don't think that's. always we talk. I know, that's a bit fucking stupid. But I don't think you the solution is never always getting rid of it's, coaches. I don't, want to, I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's like that is my dad just say. I just don't know. It's like. His selection sometimes just fucking like it's like he panics like the players do. It's you need to get rid of some players. There's some players need to go. Mm. We need, but you also think it's also just like a developmental program I still as well. I feel like we're very top heavy. We have too much star power, and these stars that we say they're stars aren't actually stars. Like their names, like Chera. You bring in Chera, the league thinks fuck Chera's in, mm. but it's really just Chera. Yeah, you know what I mean. We're top heavy. It's like we have too much star power, but it's like on on paper we have star power. So do you think not, as well? It's we like have, we don't have that those role players. Like look at Hawthorne. No, mm. so I can't even name some of the players. Mm. But now, like I can them. name them, but I can't put their face to them. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they're not like us. We have fucking every player. You go, oh, fuck yeah. his, that's that player. That's that player. It's um. There needs to be a big change. Do you think as well? Like you just said, you think like Chera comes in, it's like oh, it's Chera. Think as well, like it's the AFL world and your world, your world, like as in your fan base. You're like, in such a way, you're like the Lakers. 
Yeah, no, I said the phone. You're literally the leak. I said it to my dad. I literally, I go, I hundred there on the phone. I said to my dad, we are the, the Lakers. Lakers. We are always on paper. fucking like we're top heavy all the time. We look fucking so good on paper, but we're shit. At the start of the season, you look at it and be like, fuck, this team's gonna, this team's gonna run a train on people. We are the Lakers to a T. It's literally They're always the overhyped as shit, and we they do fucking horrible. And then they'll, they'll always be like, they will we'll do all right. Then there'll be like a one month bad period where yeah. we're just shit. Pack and that up. one month bad period of shit fucks, up fucks the, the rest of the season. It's a hundred percent with I said that. I literally said, we are the Lakers. We are the fucking <laughs> what Lakers. What did Rock say? He doesn't know. But oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. No, but I explained why. It's And they're always like top heavy. They're always fucking... Oh, involved in trade talks as well shit. yeah oh my god i said that i said that too i said every fucking player's coming to carlton right and it's either we don't get them or we do and they're fucking horrible like oh, the lakers yeah, right we're there. the lakers we are literally the lakers um yeah it's it was one of the worst performances i've seen us play was that the worst game you've ever attended not um huh was that the worst game you've probably ever attended no but like feeling wise, I mean. Recently, like, with this group, yeah. Yeah, like, but as in, like feeling, like obviously when you were last and getting pumped every week, then yeah, like they're bad performances. But feeling wise, leaving a game, knowing the situation you were in and the chances that you nah, have beyond, because logically I knew we would lose the game. So that wouldn't. So that one hasn't hurt you the most. No, it didn't. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Where would you have to rank that? Out of the finals, bro. Out of what? I've seen a lot of shit. Okay, from 2022 to now. From when you were in the Vossi era. I don't know, maybe it's top five. I don't know. Do you think I it was because it was a blowout, it was like less yeah, that's why. impactful? Like if it was Obviously. close and you lost, Obviously, you'd be like, yeah. ah. But then you kind of go, then you'd have a different conversation. You go, fuck, we almost won and stuff. We're still here. We're, we're competing yeah. and stuff. Now it's just like, I'm lost. That's why I don't like talking about the end of the season yet like um, the off season yet because I don't know and I hope they do know so I asked you before and you didn't give me a straight answer so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to do it again can you please give me like your quarter by quarter analysis yeah so quarter time quarter time scoreless yeah I was just thinking that's was it at like down and out at that point? Like it was like, yeah, this I was is thinking, fucked. yeah, it's fucking, it's pretty much over. I was thinking, all right, we'll probably, that won't, we won't do that. We'll probably kick some goals now. We'll kick like four goals, come back, just make it a normal game. But then we got 60 points And it got to 60 down. to zero. And I go, oh, well, I'll, was there a the feeling first, you knew where you felt first, like, I was thinking, are we ever going to kick a goal? Don't let them kick a goal, don't let them kick a goal. And they kicked their first goal in the second quarter. And I was like, yep. Yeah, That'd be a game over. You're not coming back now. Was there ever that feeling like you were just thinking in your head like, are we ever going to kick a fucking goal today? Are we, am I ever going to Yeah, I actually thought we'd get to 100. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was thinking we'll get to 100 here. They were fucking on track to it. I thought they would have held you up till half time. Fuck. It was six minutes away. That would bad. <laughs> that been, you would have been the first team ever. We were. We only kicked two goals. Two goals, one in that final six and a half minutes. And then like, I was thinking, all right, we get like... So what was it? It was like nine... When before we, when Kuk took that first goal, they were on nine goals, weren't they? Nine goals, six. Yeah, and then they didn't kick a goal after we kicked those two. Yeah, you kicked the final two and then you got a last little yeah, behind. Yeah, so when Kuk kicked that goal, I was thinking... It was, at that point, it was 60 was thinking, to six. All right, just get two more. Just get two more. We're all right. We got one more and then Harry missed the fucking easiest goal. I don't know how he missed that. Then we, then half time, I was thinking, you're not winning this game. Because you're on 13. You're not winning this game. And I was just thinking, I hope, like... Kick like five goals, six goals, they are kicking mm. them a goal, and then you only like two, three goals down. Then we kicked, and then we just let them keep losing. Because realistically, it was it's like. It's too hard to come back because they're always going to kick one goal. Because you were down 61 to 13, which is a 48 margin. I had said, if you win this quarter by four goals, yeah. you go into three quarter time down four goals. Yes, you're down four goals, but technically, you're in the game. Nah, but then Harry kicked that goal in the third. And I was getting hyped. I was like screaming. But it was more just like a, just because I didn't want it to be over. I just mm. wanted to win the game. And then they like. When they, you bought it to when it was like 31 to 62. Yeah, I thought. I was there like, here we go. Yeah, I was like, we'll come back. Because then Harry just kicked the goal. And then, yeah. But there were so many mistakes during the game. Like, do you remember in the first quarter when Akers, he tried to pass it off to Fantasia in an open goal? 
That witch. In point. the pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, go for goal there, man. <laughs> go for goal. There's so many mistakes. It was just, uh, it was ridiculous. Do you think it was also just not like a... I hate when people say they weren't prepared. But do you think it was like your players just kind of went out there and weren't ready for what Brisbane were going to throw at them? Like, nah. We knew Brisbane didn't really throw that much at them. Really, they we just kind of walked. It was a training drill for the first half. It was a disaster. I don't... Like, we couldn't win the clearance. We had no one on the outside in the fucking midfield. There was no outside midfielders. Mm. Everyone's a contender. Walsh is the only one. And then, yeah, no, it was just a disaster. What do you and think then of, as soon as City comes in, we start with the clearances. What do you think of the fans saying if we would have played a like a full game, we would have won? Probably would have. But then the reason why you got that run... But it doesn't matter. ...was because they took their foot off the gas. You don't know that. You don't reckon they took their foot off the gas? You don't reckon they thought, oh, they've come back before? No, but it wouldn't have been like, oh, we've won it and they took the foot off. Like, it was like, oh, yeah, we've won it now. It would have just been a lot more like free play no, instead of just do. genuine oh, proves it when play by play play. Well, you don't know. You don't know if we played a full game. We played two quarters, technically. Third quarter, you only won by like seven points. So you technically played like a quarter. 19 minutes, I'd give you. But the quarter doesn't even count. I don't think. Like, that's just those goals at the end. The, the margin does not. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't it show doesn't the score show really. It doesn't show it whatsoever. If you, just, if you couldn't look at like... If you just look at the score and said 28 point loss, you'd be like, oh, oh go, fuck, oh, yeah, they just lost. They probably yeah. lost it at the end. But nah, that, those last goals... <laughs> lost it at the start. The last goals of those three minutes means nothing. Just, it was bad. I don't, I don't know what to say. What can you say to that? It's like we got fucking destroyed all around the ground. Now, you don't even know what you're looking into. Mm. In the back of my head, all I have is, oh, Sydney, like, they lost in the first round. They fucking, we only bet them by five points. Yeah. We fucking got smashed. Yeah, this is like... I don't think our players are good enough. They're not good enough. We have, like, the six or seven star players that make our team look good. The Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> the Los Angeles Lakers right there. Um, we have six or seven stars. Cripps, Kerno, Walsh, Wiedering. Oh, you said Kerno, yeah. Cripps, Kerno, Walsh, Wiedering. Um, PDK. Mackay. And then plus you got those outsider players who you were saying are. I think Akers, up to the he, he's been good. Mm. Hewitt's been good, but. Kennedy. They don't have enough. Like, they're not good enough. You got your chip chero. What's he doing? But what That's is like. Thing. What is the. Like, what is the. Yeah, not small enough? forwards are not good enough. So it's just small forward, you reckon? No, nah, it's. We don't have enough role players, like, good enough role players. See, but our like, team, when. They ma- our team makes them look good. When you say it's like Hong Kong fans, A. If you could have one per like one position, who would you want? We always say, "Oh, we want a tall, like a big forward." Who fast would you want? Fast midfielder. Butters. Like so you just butters want butters. Oh, butters. I was gonna say, if you want butters, you're asking for a lot right now. So you you would want after looking at your midfield because your midfield can still hold up, but you're just no. Nah, we'd put another midfielder in there. Mm, fast midfield, an outside midfielder. Okay. No one to help Walsh. He's the only one out there, and then so like a Josh Dacos type esque yeah. type of player, like on the wing. Josh. Yeah, Josh. Nick. Neither or. <laughs> you need to be happy with either or. Yeah. No, nah, our wings are... Oh, I think our wings are all right. Ollie Holmes had a good season. Akers has been good. Mm. But... Saad tried at the end. Lewis Young was our best defender somehow. <laughs> like, it was... A Newman's good. Like, I'm... I don't know. It's fucked. Mm. It's fucked. It's really fucked. I really think, like I said, you lost the game when you had Teddy Kaz as well. Yeah. Game was wrapped I there. knew. That was Game. the weirdest. Like, you hype up all this time that, and then you put him in a sub. Mm. That obviously means he wasn't fit yeah. to play. And you just had to pick out of him or Kerno. And then as well, you shouldn't put a player like that as a sub because... No. That's like putting Chris as a sub. You're only literally... Yeah, but you're also only getting either a Ruckman or a tall forward. That's all you're getting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's not a... You can put him anywhere on the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not like he can be like a defender Yeah. You're getting two positions, mm. so you're gonna. If it was gonna be an injury type sub, you gotta pray it's gonna be the pit net going down or a forward going down. Yeah, because then you got to move everyone else around, and you're making other players move positions and roles. Yeah, and I, I think Foss. I think he needs help around him. He needs more help around him. Our, our assistant coaches and stuff. Mm. So you, it was more like your system is kind of failing your club yeah, more than your players. To. And then it's like the club also because you. I say like, oh, our club's not. These players are getting not good enough. They're always injured. Whose fault's that? That's the club's fault. Mm. It's not the player's fault. Yeah. 
Like, if we're getting players that can't play a whole season, like Jack Martin, his best game he played was his first game. And that was in COVID, and we lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked, he kicked five goals. The best game. He, and I don't think Kerno or Mackay, or Kerno wouldn't have been playing. Mackay wasn't playing. They won the game, and we lost the game, but he kicked five goals. It was his best. Like, why are you getting players that aren't fit to play a whole season? Yeah. You just have to, if you want to make harsh calls at selection, you have to do it in the trade too. Do you think, you know? speaking of harsh calls, do you think it's also time to make harsh calls on like the, the lists as well? Yeah. yeah. Who would you, if you can rattle off three? Marchbank, Cunningham, probably have to get rid of Lewis Young. Just see, I'm, try, I'm forgetting players. Um, Marchbank. But they're two main ones. Marchbank, Cunningham. There's someone I'm thinking of that I can't. I don't have my phone on me. I've talked about this a thousand times. You just want me to bring up Carol, your list. Carroll, oh, he's going anyway. I don't think he delist Carroll. You should keep Carroll. I don't delist him. But he's going anyway. There's your squad. All right, let me look at this. Read right for each player. No. Um, <laughs> March Bank, definitely. Cunningham. Who else is there? Lewis Young. The list? Yeah, yeah. Really? I'll be happy to take Young. We'll play some there are three there. players right there. Just have to do list. Play Young people. I don't know. It has to be harsh calls, unfortunately. Silvani keep getting the crack? Yeah. I like Silvani. I think he, he would have done Sobs. better than all our third forwards done this year. Third option forwards. Small forwards aren't good enough. You know he actually did half decent this year. I'll give him props. I don't like him for oh, obvious he's reasons. No. Oh, he's shit. Is he good. Oh, he's shit. Shit. Oh, he's he's shit. shit. Nah, one player that I don't like for obvious reasons. Uh, he played all right on Saturday and he played all right throughout the year. So I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him some props for it. Lucky Cowan. He did he had yeah, not half bad player. year. He's good. Not, he's good. Not a half bad year. He's so. done he's actually really he was actually pretty good. Like I don't like him. I hate him with a passion. But well, I like hate, uh, I Nah, I don't know. Just reasons. Oh, I know. Just Why? reasons. But, um, <sighs> nah, just reasons. I just think he's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? Nah, I don't know. I think he's just, yeah, he's just, I, I don't like the moo. It's just too good. I don't like the moo, mate. I don't like the moo. <laughs> That's why on the final throw, when he kicked it on the full, that was like a combination of all my hatred uh, for you guys. Never been happier in my life. But, yeah. No, oh, well, that's your season done. <laughs> nah, I think. Um, <laughs> nah, I'll give him props. He Carlton? has had a very good As season. A Cal, fan, what do you see from Carlton? Seriously, I'd be serious. Like, I'm not gonna have a bias. Say, I'm gonna say from an AFL standpoint, yeah. right? So, if I was just like the neutral fan standpoint, like you said, on paper, you have the best team. On paper, you have. If you were to pick a team's course five or six. You have what every team would want. You have every single thing. You have decent coach, like standing out there in front of you. You've got Voss, half decent. You've got the fans behind you who's willing to travel to Brisbane. You've got all this stuff behind you. And you don your colours and you don your jersey and you go out there. And honestly, we all rave about your midfield. I can name numerous occasions where we killed your midfield both times we played you. And our midfield is shocking. I can, like... I just think hey, numerous times. And as well, enough. Brisbane, I think they have a great... I think Brisbane's midfield is one of the best in the comp. But the way they dismantled yours yeah, just goes to prove the gap between yours. Good enough. And then you say our midfield, then we drop Kennedy. We um, sub out Kennedy. Mm. That's just the most ridiculous And then like you said as well, the positional... Not positional, but like selection, like the coach's standpoint, like the club standpoint in that, picking players and all that. That's wrong as well. You're not... Doing that effectively. Yeah. You're not using a sub roles the way it should. Because that really... No. Like, I love seeing you guys fail. That, I honestly live to see you fail more than I see Collingwood to succeed. Like, that's that's yeah, what it's so gotten to. Not but it, way around. But yeah, obviously. <laughs> but it's like, I looked at that. And even our good friend, Anthony Rodino, even said, I'm looking at this right now and I pity Carl. Like, I feel bad that they mm. have to go through this. I did not. So, I loved it. Yeah. But, I, but seeing that TDK thing on the sideline... I almost thought, like, if that was my team, That's and, like, ridiculous. I've gone and seen, like, you've hyped it up. Like, imagine if when we and had McStay so come us. back. Oh, you're finally getting your tall fall back. Come on. Make him sub. He's going to be a sub. What? It's like, obviously he what the fuck? He obviously wasn't fit to play. But mm. there was another thing that shocked me that happened. 
in your boss game? Boss went up to the coach's box. Last quarter, yeah. I That's, was going to touch on that. that saying? He's going to touch on that. That's giving up. He was down there the entire game. No, but every starts. game of the season, he's down there. Oh, really? I don't All know. All game, that. he's never been in the coach. Never. Seen I knew ever. down there he was. He's uh, never been in the, the whole game. Box. Never, ever, ever. And then last quarter, he's the just whole throwing time the towel. Coached us. That's giving up. So what are the players going to? So think? necessarily, obviously, you see your coach go up there, like you're saying. What are the players going to think? What do you think was said in that three quarter time, Harvey? Because if you're willing to just walk up all those stairs, you've got to walk up like three levels. After being down there the whole year, no matter what result you had. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I never really know what they think. I think they say, but... He could take down some thieves, but he couldn't take down the Brisbane Lions. he went up to the coach's box, which is giving up, unfortunately. But am I right? I think this is what I saw and heard as well. He kept down there the assistant coaches. Yeah. Yeah, but he went up by himself. There, yeah. yeah. yeah he I think that's a poor effort as well. You're basically, you're basically saying, my job's yeah, done. You, I'll hand it I've over to you guys. I've never seen that. I was shocked when I saw that. I think that's just poor. a disaster the game was. In that last ten minutes, mm. just a disaster. Like Newman just got his arm, got like sucked into there. You're losing the game, mate. Do you think there should still be a coach's box? Yeah. Yeah, I love when the coaches are down there. there. But he's always down there. It's like Craig McRae. Mm. He's never... McRae's never there. gone up there, I don't think, ever. And then he goes up there and you think, fuck, what the, he's given up. What are the players in there? Like, the players are used to them and them running off. Oh, I've talked to the coach. Mm. He's not there. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, is, that, is this enough, like, Carlton Ring? Because I want to go in some of the other games, but... I think so. I'm just, waiting, we, till you, I'm just waiting until you, like, drain it, like, tap out everything. Say. I don't know what to say. I don't even want to talk about it. Sum up the game in three words. Disgusting. Disgusting, but dumb, and uncoordinated. And now, describe your season in three words. Disgusting, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that game sums up our season. But do you really think it's like a? I've I've heard a couple times. I've heard, I've heard the word well, been thrown around a couple of times. Rebuild again. I don't think it's that big. Because nah, we can't. We fail rebuild. We can't rebuild. So where do you see yourself? If you just had to predict position next year, where do you see know. yourself? I don't know. Just, just throw out a number. I can't tell you. Really? It's I got don't a, know how I'm meant to date anything off that. Wow. I don't know. So you're in like full just like, you're looking at all your pieces and just, nah, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know. How do you, how, I won't know. I don't know. The way we left it off, how do you know? That's crazy. How do you know? Well, last time Kong got blown out in a final, the next year we came 17th. So mm. did, it's, is it going to go that and bad? I don't think so. we rebuild in a year or two years. We just changed our system. That's all we did. We had the yeah. same players. And it worked though. We just changed system. We didn't change coach and system. That's it. We didn't change maybe players. Our, maybe our system isn't working. But he just took down thieves, mate. He even went back and got his coffees as well. Mm. Oh yeah. That's probably why I went back to the coach's box. His coffee was up there. <laughs> but yeah, our system doesn't work. It's uh, mentality also. I think. This man's the only one. Do you see that? Don't you have a a saying? Could be on one of these things you have up here. Don't you have the saying called stronger together? Mm. It's all bullshit. I don't really know. Yeah. I don't think you can put it's that to, to your yeah. team. It's all yip yap, though, man. See him, I've stayed for them to walk off. And I'm getting clapped off. So you clapped him off. That's not I like your fans. Usually you spit on them. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't clap So that's off. progress from your fans, but actually. It wasn't the same clap off as like when we lost the prelim last year. Last cap, year, it, it was a like sense a of pride. It was just like a, just to clap them off, you know? Like, you're not just going to stare at them. You have to do something. Yeah, I didn't clap them off. I just stared. But, I don't know. It wasn't. It was just disappointing. It was, I don't know. Well, I don't even know. You can't. You don't even know where to look at next year now. Mm. We have to see what happens in the off season. There's to be some changes. Speaking can't of- keep waiting. So as Rocco said, I'll play the oh, I don't the fucking video. Fuck. Say it. You um, sound just like Rocco said, anyway. Terry said it on fan camps. He said he keeps as Rocco. He has Rocco ringing in his ears from four years ago when he first joined the um, fan camps, and I, he said 
um, keep waiting. Give me some dead air time right now. Keep waiting, life. and time will pass. Keep waiting, and time will pass. Time is passing. Time is passing. Do you care to elaborate on what that means? You know what it means. Keep waiting, and time will pass. Time will pass. And what's it passing to? Passing, exactly. <laughs> Just, it's passing. What do you mean, what's it passing to? Time's passing. We're running out of time. You run out of time. These players aren't going to be playing forever. Mm. How long Crips it? Because a lot of your players Some are roughly the same well. age as well. Some Crips as well, huh? A lot of your players are roughly yeah, the same age. So it's forever. like, you're not be when one goes, they're all going to start dropping. Keep waiting. It's to the coaches, the club. Mm. Keep waiting. Time will pass. Will pass. And it keeps pass. passing, and it has passed since since that four years ago, since 2020. It's mm. passed. We've done nothing. So just keep waiting. But I think you should not give up hope because, as Patrick Cripps said back in 2021 or 2020, the Blues are back. So yep. hold on to that. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We'll see what happens. It's a bad way to end, just a shit way to end the mm. season. Speaking of shit ways to end the season... I think Colin as well. Wood. We spoke about that <laughs> oh, ages ago. I used to play finals. Uh, you know what it is? I've never experienced a finals loss to Brisbane. And you've experienced back to back. So? But I, have I versus Brisbane? Yeah, but that was last year, mate. I did versus Get Brisbane. Get with the times. Did versus this Brisbane. This year now. Okay, well, you lost to Brisbane this year. And we beat yeah. Brisbane twice this year. But don't worry about your premiership Too good, last mate. year. Um, now, nah, speaking of teams that with a finals loss now. I feel like the lights are very bright on them going into next season. Western Bulldogs. I honestly do think, like, they are the next season going into it, all the lights have, have to be Their on there. Their past. But I think they're at that point of, like, that, yeah. and the lights are on them right now. If, like, Brisbane, it had them on this year, reckon, and Brisbane are the holding coach, up. When they're the coach has to go. Bevo should have been gone three years ago. Bevo should have been gone after that grand final loss, honestly. Maybe a bit into 2022. But, oh, no, nah, realistically, honestly, they should have been gone 2022 when they just got into finals because we bought them in and they got they choked a 40-point lead. He should have been gone from then. Yeah. Yet he still stayed here, played an extra, what has he got, two extra years? Seems like he's still going to be there next year, so you're going to give him three extra years. That team, you look at it, Bont, like, you have the best player, one of the best players in the league, He's never given you a brown last season. Like, honestly, as a... Yeah. In your 2020, whatever, is Marcus Montempelli. He's got all these stars. you got Jamari Hagen, who I'll go into after, but he's a sorry excuse of a player. He has plays oh, with no he's, passion. Mate, he's no no really, passion whatsoever. He's no Carlton Adian player. He's now. shocking, mate. I know I always say, I want a tall forward. If he said, I'm going to sign to Conrad, I'd be like, nah. It's he's right. so bad. It's all right. We, we don't want you. Um, then you also got... Norden as well. I think he's very Waste here or there. Dad, Waste my, what's he on? An eight-year, seven-year contract? Ten-year contract. Ten-year contract. Ten year, I think. Um, Cody Waitman. Did not even see him on fucking Friday night. Didn't see him do one thing. Mm. Sam Darcy, I'll give you props for that. Sam Darcy's a great player. Sam, Sam Darcy yeah. is what a lot of teams would want in a tall forward. Like Bulldogs and they're are in type versus in type the Bulldogs, I think it's just honestly like, you you have been that team with the list so long mm. and you've done nothing with it like look like they had remember when they got Trelaw and everyone was saying oh they're the best yeah midfield. fucking Trelaw bro best midfield. but Bailey Dale as well out there yeah you know all these players you got Libba still there who's probably on his way out soon but you, you look at their past how many years from when they got Trelaw and we all started saying oh my god this team is that fucking team first round exit last year didn't even make it the year before, first round exit after mm. taking a 40 point lead, and the year before, a grand final loss yeah. by about one of the most embarrassing performances we've ever seen in a grand final. Mm. So, I think honestly, the lights that light around our camera right now that's blaring in our eyes that's what are on them next year. Yeah, they're shocking. And as well as Jamari Guhagen, you've got the lights on you next he's year. Bad. Yeah, he's been in the league since what 2022. Yeah, but he, I think he was he injured at the start or something. Yeah, like the first like six, seven weeks or something. But um, yeah. Anyway, Port versus Geelong. Well, we've still got to talk a little bit about Hawthorne. Tell us a little bit nah, about Hawthorne. Hawthorne. We'll talk about Hawthorne when we talk about the semis. Okay. Uh, Port, versus Port Geelong. Geelong. So we just talk about Port then, I guess. Port yeah. did bad. No, nah, I'll talk about Geelong. 
because they're not playing next week. Okay, Port's are bad. <laughs> That's it, next game. Next game, what was the next game? Port's worse, our performance, or... no, our performance is worse. Your performance is worse. I think, obviously, you look at the result, you only lost by 28, but your performance was way worse than Port Adelaide's. Yeah. That was like way, way, <laughs> way <up>. worse. <laughs> It was, no, I think it was too. I think Port just like, they good, they got... Like, well, the thing with Port is, with I felt like, it didn't feel like an 80-point loss. Port was also worse, was also bad because it was up there. At, yeah, at that was bad point. as well. But it didn't feel like, to me, an 80-point loss. It felt like a 50-point, like a 45, 50-point. Yeah, nah, it didn't feel was, like 83. Nah, they were getting smashed. They did, even from the start, even when they were in the game, like up by a goal, it was embarrassing. My, um, weekly praise of... Jason Horn Francis. He is a great player. He's a star player. He didn't do that good though. He did terrible. He only had 17 touches. He didn't do that good. But I still am always going to praise him because he's a good player. Realistically. But where he does lost it? Butters. Um, when did I lose Butters? Like a quarter. Yeah. Uh, it was like late second he got hurt and then they subbed in early third. Yeah. They got smashed. Absolutely mm. smashed. Geelong are looking insane. So you think Geelong are that team this year? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Or Giants. When you said when you said that in the group chat, you messaged it to me or to the group chat, whatever, and you said Geelong is that team. I didn't I was, say that. I was a little bit shocked. Didn't you say that? No. Didn't you say Geelong will be No, yesterday I said to you Geelong or Giants in the grand final. Oh, okay, yeah. When you said those two teams, a little bit like Wow. I don't suspect that. Why? I don't think either of them are going to be in the grand final. Oh, I thought you were saying like you didn't expect that from me. I also not expect that from you, yeah. Why? I don't know. Probably like... I could probably see you saying Geelong, but I didn't see you after Giants lost, you saying, oh yeah, Giants will make the grand final. No, I think they'll make it. They're a good side too. But I think they're as well. They're like, they can show up on the day and they can win by 100 or they can show up on the day and lose by 100. Yeah, but... They're a bit odd. Did they have... Sydney. Lose, now oh, the, yeah, they had Sydney, but now they got Brisbane. I mean, Giants versus Carlton this week, so... Uh, nah, but close contest. I like Geelong. They look very good, and they their system has always worked. Mm. That's worked for over That's 10 years. System. That's we a system. That's a system, system. If we play, put all our players in Geelong They got system. the Denver Nugget system. Yeah, they do. They really do. But then when you also got Jezza Cameron kicking goals out his ass. Yeah. You see, he even said that first goal that he kicked... He said he tried to set it to the top of the square, but he hit the wrong part of the ball yeah. and it just curled that into the goal. Like, that's goal. insane ridiculous to accidentally goal. kick a goal like ridiculous that. Ridiculous goal. And I love Dangerfield. He's so You good. love the Paddy Danger. Yeah, he's so good. I love watching He hasn't got many years left. There's a few players I love watching, and he's one of them. Really? That's a bit... I don't... I wouldn't suspect that. Nah. <laughs> I, I would... Dangerfield, why is he exciting to watch? Oh, mate, he's so fucking good. He, he's actually skillful too. Yeah. He's a great player to watch. The players I love watching is him. I love Juan watching Lockie Neal. Yeah, Lockie Neal. Not yesterday. I mean, sorry, Saturday. Not Saturday. I didn't like watching Lockie Neal yesterday. Lockie Neal, JHF. Reed, you love Reed. Reed. Harley Reed. Yeah, not yet. But Dangerfield, Neal, and, and Thing, and Cripps, obviously. But other teams. Mm. I love watching Dangerfield. Great player. Neil is a good player too. We always say he should win the Brown Lone, but he's a fucking top player. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Your breath took your fucking voice away. You know what it is? I've been staring at this fucking water because I want to drink it, but it's been here for like four months. Do you want to drink? Well, we're recording, so I don't want to I'm stop get a drink. And you can... Do you want to drink? I, I kind of want to drink too. I need a drink. Do you want... Um, I don't know if we have bottles of water. Do you want like... We have creamy soda. Can. I'll have a creamy soda. Oh, creamy. Let's go. Creamy. Go I'll time you. Huh? I'll time you. Don't knock the camera over. You'll just edit this out in post. No. Nah. Well, let's hope so. Because um, I know he won't edit this, so I'm just going to keep talking to the camera. Um, what is it next? Oh, I've actually forgotten what we're talking about. What were we talking about? Um, the players I love to watch. Players you love to watch. Oh, yeah. So I think Dangerfield is just more of a fundamental player. I don't think you can be someone you can love to watch. Get out of the camera. No, I'm hoping that didn't move. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> it. This is a very uncoordinated episode. Like Carlton. Yeah. Uncoordinated. See, I think that's fair that we're doing the episode like this. 
showing what Carlton we're, we're, This is like, because we can't show the replay because we'll get copyright. We're just yeah, doing we're doing this. I hope that explodes. Ah, boo. Exploded like Carlton. We always fucking explode. No. Go back to the Geelong game. So Geelong, obviously, you have to do the prelim. You think they're that team? Really, see, they're the one to face the Giants or the Lions. Won't be the Lions. So you see them versus the Giants. Who takes it? Who takes it out of that one? You reckon? If it's oh, so it they can't lose them. Yeah, we're going to be a Geelong Giants game. <laughs> I don't see Geelong in the grand final. I, I can't. It just feels so weird. They haven't felt like a grand final. Because you know this why year. it feels weird? Because like we thought it was over for them. Yeah. And they're like old. They're not old, they're actually not old, but they are. We thought it was over for them and now they're like just normal, it's just like they were in 2022. And as well, it's like we've always seen them do finals and then not make it. And then 2022, they won. But like that was the first time we'd seen them in a grand final, I guess, in 2020. But before that, no, nah, like, but like young. actually like performed too. Mm. They've been in prelims and stuff. They were like Brisbane or Brisbane were, or Brisbane are. Mm. They're always losing where they could never make it and they finally won the grand final. Yeah. But I think Geelong win that because it's here mm. yeah see but I think actually did you hear just quickly mm. kind of off topic um Giants so if we won and we versus Giants we would have played at the SCG really because in finals if you cannot like it, it would be because too many wouldn't fit enough people at their stadium so it has to they be have played them. finals at that stadium though yeah I know but against teams that don't have big supporter base oh okay fair yeah it would have been at the SCG so that's, that's, that's a kind of dumb. neutral ground. But then that's kind of stupid because it's like they are the, there should be a home advantage yeah, yeah, to I one know, side. Wouldn't have fit enough people, but it's kind of neutral ground. That just makes it even just stupid. Yeah. So that just makes it even more fair. But it doesn't matter because we're not. Yeah, it didn't so. end up happening anyway. So, um, you can't, oh, now I forgot what I was going to say. I was, I was like, really, really good. But they're good. Uh, no, I'm not sure long. Oh, no, the next game. Uh, Sydney Giants. Yeah, we're speaking a lot about the Giants. That's uncoordinated to how we've set all the games. We've gone us, and then the Thursday game, then no, we're, the Friday. We're, we're Saturday night. Friday. Friday. Thursday for like... <laughs> Thursday we spoke about, oh yeah, they lost. Patrick Dangerfield on that night. <laughs> Went and got Cravey Zoda, came back. So yeah, Sydney's not... <laughs> Sydney, yeah, Sydney won. Uh, now, obviously, well, the funny thing is... Did we say Sydney's going to win? Did we get all our tips right? No, nah, I had. I had Geelong. No, I had Port. Did you? Yeah. I and then we both we both had doggies saying or doggies by seven goals. Nah. <laughs> no, no, I remember you sat there like, if I knew I do what I could see, just Bulldogs gonna be a forty point win. And me and you were like, bro, it's, it's not even gonna be close. What yeah. are people talking about? Actually, one thing we forgot to talk about that game is um ninety seven thousand people. Biggest elimination final massive ever. That is a, that's, that's a crazy. Great final crowd. Hundred percent. Fucking amazing. I think as well. You know what it is? Because Hawks play just that such exciting brand yeah. of footy. This young. And they work on it even. Going to yeah, the they were a very evenly matched uh, side, both in form-wise and everything. But the thing is with Hawks, and this is why I want Hawks to win it as well this year. Yeah, they have I a pick, but like, to what are you going to do? It's because it, it feels like you're just watching like just a normal, just like you're just watching the Div 12 Reddies. Mm. You're just seeing friends... Just have fun, take the yeah. piss. They're doing celebrations. That fucking Nick Watson has his wizard stand of people in hats. I like it's such a fun. Like that boy. If he played for Collingwood. It's I such a fun fan base. Life. Like, and I'm loving Ginevan over. Like I'm loving everything that they're doing. They did lose Sam Frost, so I think that is mm. that does impact them. But I think it's like what they're doing. It's such a not uncoordinated. Off brand like type friends, of way, bunch of mates. Yeah, like, off brand's way of building a premiership side. Like they're just doing it like, oh yeah, let's just go there and play, kick, kick a fucking footy around, mm. and they do it, and they're killing it every week. So that's why I want to see them get through, and that's why they fucking dismantled doggies. Yeah, doggies as well. Are embarrassment. Like I said, the lights are bright on them next year, and now doggies as well. They're always gonna be that big team. But as Lanka said, get me out of here. Oh, I don't want to play here. It's even the worst. Anyway, Sydney Giants. Talk about that later. That yeah, yeah, yeah. But Sydney Giants, Sydney comes back. See, I did not think, honestly, I did not think Sydney would win up until Amadi kicked the goal. And I, I thought, thought they would come back. But not win. 
Yeah, I thought Giants yeah. would win by like five points or something. Yeah, like just hold them by that goal. Yeah. I honestly didn't put Sydney in consideration to win the game. Like as was going on, that last quarter didn't put him in consideration to win up until Amadi kicked that goal and I saw there was a minute 48 left and I went, oh, fuck, that. they're going to win. Mm. I think they might actually win this. I thought it was, it was like, a draw. I was hoping. I yeah. thought it would because, you know, you've got the battle of the bridge, like the rivalry already yeah, between them. Like, I thought it would be really cool. But the Sydney in the prelim, Geelong in the prelim, there could be a Sydney Geelong rematch in the grand final. And do we see it go out the same way it did yes. last time? <laughs> yes, I think so. I don't think I'll get smashed, but I think Geelong still win. But, so, semi finals. I don't want to talk about that Sydney real quick. Oh. Heaney takes a penalty uh, mark. Okay, well, th- th- thanks for telling me what I was going to say. <laughs> Heaney, was that the greatest mark you've ever seen? I reckon that probably was. For me, I that was. I'm going to say something that I'm upset about. I missed the mark. What? Because what I was doing was taking the number two on the toilet. <laughs> no, you were. <laughs> yep. yep. And I get the you didn't just have it on your I, phone? Nah, I was just like on my... And then I get the message from the group chat. Yeah, that was me. Wrote, I first wrote it straight away. Any best mark or something. And I was like, fuck, I missed it. And then I go on KO and they're showing the replay. Yeah. Like, fuck, I missed that. Because he balanced and then flipped. Yeah. That's what made it so cool. Yeah. He's the best mark I've ever seen. It, and then we're talking as well about greatest things we've seen. And then we saw, like I said, that before. wouldn't have been the greatest mark I've seen, though. What was your I watched word? Andrew Walker's mark, so. I think it was better than Andrew Walker's mark. No, I probably was, but I haven't seen. I didn't see any. Okay, so. yeah, true that, yeah. Um, no, and then speaking of, obviously, Jezza, that is a great goal, and people are now advocating for goal and mark the year should be in finals. I don't think so. I think you have no. 25 rounds, do it in that round. Finals I think there should what, be. Finals makes it special. I think there should be its own thing for finals. No. Like, you don't reckon? No, just why? Just don't. The goal's always going to be recognised because. Like, if you think about it, goal of the year isn't shit, unless they're, like, really good by superstars, like Dacos's goals or, like, any other goals by superstars in the regular season, they're kind of forgotten about. Yeah. If they're not one, if they don't win the goal of the yeah. year, this they're always going to remember because they're finals. It's a finals goal. I do think they should do its own kind of, like, goal of the finals or goal, like, Probably. some shit like that. Not even, like, they get an actual award, just, yeah. like, a fan award type just shit. Like named goal. Yeah, like, you know how NBA do clutch player of the year? Like, no one really cares about yeah. that. Or, like, dunk of the year. Just shit like that that nobody cares about. But, like, it gets recognised. Um, but, yeah, I think... But Isaac Heaney is very good. Isaac Heaney. Like, I wish... Good. I know, you know, it makes it better that he didn't... He did get suspended because it makes it easier for Dacos. He wouldn't have won it. He wouldn't have won it. But it would have been cool seeing, like, that race. Because there would have been him up there as well. And Lockie Neal's making that effort. Actually, it's like a four or five way tie. Is that even possible? Do they even have enough medals for that? Well, you can oh, well, they it's actually been three way. It's been three way tie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, had, you had to say that final word. No, but it's like, obviously, the they know the votes before they read it out. The AFL knows. They, they read it beforehand. Oh, kind of. They would have the medals prepared. Yeah. This Brownlow is... Um, it's like every, well, I still every think it's going to be a draw. It's always been a tie. Every year. 2003, I think it was a tie. Buckley... Mm. Who was it? Who won it? Buckley. Um, was it Heard? And oh, who, who did Buckley tie with? I don't know. You told me before. Anyway, Heard, I think it was. And I think it was two, one more. He tied. Buckley, anyway, no. he tied them ten years later. I probably did this way wrong, and then i I'm very wrong with a lot of Brownlow shit. I forget it all the time. Cochin and Mitchell, and then now ten years. Dave Cross and Cripps. I mean, Crips and Dacos. See, but I honestly think it will be a draw. That's yeah, the funny no, thing. I wish I could put money on it because I'd win thousands of dollars. <laughs> like, I'm seeing, like, people say, like, oh, Crips win it by four votes and people saying Dacos win it by two votes. Like, I'm like, seeing a draw. Ass thing it's gonna be a like, I'm walking in there that night going, okay. I'm going to have to put Dacos on my story. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, jo- the joint photo I'm where they're both holding it. I haven't been pumped for a brown man like this. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, because you know what it is so as well? Far, I feel like it's so far away too. We can win the brown low, goal of the year, and mark of the year all in the same night. Yeah. That'd be mental. But I just want to, I want to see what it's like when they tie, if they tie. I'm just hoping, I, I at least just want Cripps just to win it by Cause himself. He, because he's, if Dacos wins it over us, then it's like, fuck, we literally won nothing this season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also because it's like, 
it'll be good going into because your game is like last, right? That I reckon they'll do the Freo game before they do your votes. I reckon they'll go Freo port and then they'll do yeah. your votes final. I, and it's also annoying too. I can't stand like because they're it's gonna, they're gonna be one and two. How do we go from the best goals know. to Brown votes? I don't know. They're gonna be one and two, right? So I think it'll be fucking annoying because then if Dacos wins it, you won't shut up for. Oh. Dacos, blah, blah, blah. If we win it, we will go, oh, Dacos can't beat Crips or whatever. It'll be so fucking annoying. And then if a draw, we'll be like, mate, great play. <laughs> yeah. Or then it'll be like, Dacos should have got an extra vote there, or yeah, Crips yeah. should have got an extra vote there. I think that's what it will be. Like, that's what it's going to be. I think between us, we'll be like, fuck yeah, they tied. I'll, yeah. I'll actually be happy. I really want to tie. As much as, because in, in a I sense, care. I still respect Crips. I think Crips is a great play. Like, I, I, like I love what Crips <laughs> do. Yeah, but you've gotten on to, you respect him a lot more now. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a good player, but I think when he gets older, I'll, maybe because he's still a kid, I still mm. think, fuck you and stuff. Mm. But it'll be interesting. It'll be very... Obviously, I, I want... Between us, we'll be like... Um, obviously, because it will be we'll his be like, first. Go. I, like, mm. We'll be so happy. And then, like, everyone else in the comments and media and she will be like, oh, Dacos will still had a better season or Crips yeah. still had a better season. We'll be like, oh, he got votes there. Well, he shouldn't have got finals. votes. Like something like that. Yeah, like, one more game. Crips only had 22 disposals. He shouldn't have got two yeah. votes then. It'll be stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I do, because obviously it would be Nick's first I brown, reckon... right? Okay. Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay. It would be Nick's first brown, so I would want to see him clear it and have his own. It's, mm. his, it's his brown, yeah. But I think as well, it would be so cool to have. Especially because it's our two clubs. Like, we and fucking hate each other. It's also different, too, because it's not like when um, Cochin did it. When it happened with Cochin, they, like, um, what, what's his name, got suspended. So they, mm. they were second anyway. So it's kind of like less. And then like three players is a lot to tie. Like that's mm. fucking annoying. But they were literally both the best two players of the season. Yeah. No one, like no one's else has said anyone's been better this season than them two. Well, you did do your own count and, and you had it as a draw. What was 40, the total? About 47, two, wasn't it? You said? 42. 42. Yeah, 42. I think it's just, oh, it's going to be sad. Because you know what it's going to do? If I get that right, fucking hell. That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus that's crazy. Christ. But you know what it is as well? If you, like, because I think they're going to do, what was the first game on that Sunday? Oh, Doggies Giants. They're going to do Doggies Giants. Then they're going to do the Frio Port game. Then they're going to go into your game, right? And how do they usually do it? They go one vote, two vote, three vote. Yeah, yeah they read from the bottom. So why couldn't they do it when, when Crips won it? Right? So basically, this, this is how it's going to go. Nah, I don't think they can do that, though. What do you mean? They can't do the Frio at St. Kilda. I mean... Free a game beforehand. Yeah, they can't. I reckon they can. No, no, no. Because twenty twenty two, remember? Yeah. Crips Carlton Collins was the last game, and they did Crips as count last, and they did all the games. The all games just fall in the starting line. But what will happen is if Crips needs like two votes to win it, or to tie, to like Port. Um, Freo, if no one's in, the, I mean Port. Who was it? Port. Port Freo. Freo yes. If no one there is in their contention. Yeah. So Crips will get the two votes, and they'll say. Patrick Cooper should be on there. They just won't say them. They just won't even bother you. Right? Yeah, okay. that's what happens. See, so, yeah, I reckon this is how it's gonna go. Because it could be over in like round twenty two or round yeah. twenty one. This is how it's gonna go. We're gonna. It's gonna be going into the your final it's game. Oh, versus Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Dacos will be one yeah. vote higher, and it will be Crips two to win, one to tie. And you'll get a one. And they're gonna go, uh, Carlton versus Saint Kilda. One vote. P. Oh. And he goes quiet, and they go, hey, Chris, and everyone, oh! Yeah, Carlton Collingwood. <laughs> and then we merge as teams and win the next 10 And then as they're both walking off on the stage, they go, but wait, because Nick Day cost one goal of the year, that counts as an extra <laughs> vote. <laughs> I'd fucking hate my life. And then they're like, but wait, because Cripps played finals, he gets an extra vote. I think, oh, I'm, I'm high for it. This is the first time I've been excited. That would be good if that happened. Because Chris played finals. Oh, what would you do? No, not that. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> the one vote. The one, one vote, yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, okay, so I'm thinking about the finals. Like, I'm like, that's stupid, man. But um, um, what would you do if it was like, can you get the first vote? Would you, like, any... Like, so know, if they said first vote, the first vote, would you be thinking, "Fuck, he's gonna get two votes, or he's gonna get three Like votes. if they said first vote, like fucking, I don't know, Sam Walsh or some shit, and I was thinking, okay, well now he's gonna get a fucking vote. He's not gonna not get a vote. And then if I honestly think in that final what game, if they are already tied. They, they, he gets three votes to tie it, and then they're tied. Oh yeah, then I'll be like, yeah, no, he's not gonna win it. I'll be like, obviously from then point, it'll be like Cripps has won it. If Cripps doesn't get a vote in that game, you'd be kind of shocked. I don't think Cripps gets three what votes he, in that game. I don't think he did that. He gets two or one. 
And I think two, yeah, I don't remember. He played pretty bad for his standard, pretty bad. But we didn't win, remember? He also didn't win. But I think as well, you could find a leeway in wiggle room to give him two. But he would not also, have. So we also didn't win that Carlton Kong game, twenty twenty two, and two of our players got votes. Yeah. So, but he well he did do good that game. Yeah, I think he'll either get two or one. I don't see him getting three that game. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think he'll And I fucking I think, know. I think he'll only get one because it's Patrick Cripps. And I fucking know. They want to give Josh Dacos the three votes in that Melbourne game. No, he kicked two goals, Nick. The umpires are so blind that they want to give it to, to Josh and Nick I, will get two. Uh, to be honest, I did not see Josh, Josh, Josh Dacos. Like, I didn't see him like I saw Nick Dacos. In that game, yeah, see, I saw Josh Dacos more than I saw really? Nick. Really? Yeah. I didn't. didn't Maybe because him. I was watching that on a TV. You were watching it at the game. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't s- notice him. I saw Josh way more than I saw Nick. I think because I'm just blind to Nick now because I see it all the time. I'm just like, okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice him. So that's crazy. That is insane. It would be a fucking. Uh, let's go like let's go clubbing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> just a celebration. We 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 are. It's on the 26th. Because it, it's the week, it's on the Monday before the grand final. Okay. And then Thursday we're going to Club Dolce. Yeah, but that's like days after. Yeah, the but same that's still day. like, yeah. <laughs> oh, we should go party with like the Dakes and the Crips. You think they're going to be at Club Dolce? Yeah, no. If you guys are going to be at Club Dolce, after that night, else. they're going to be fucking clubbing together. Are they going to be at Crayon? What if Garden Kong will merge? Bro, Monday night, let's just go to Crayon. Yes. And watch it. When they do the Brownlow thing. Let's just chill outside. We should go like all our Carlton. So Carlton to Jace. That's all I have is Carlton. And then you, Paducah fan, we all come up in like tuxedos. And Raddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not calling his water. Um, we all come in like suits to crowd. Yeah. Watch the brown line. We, we actually should watch it together. We actually should. I reckon it'll be really actually cool. Actually working at night. I don't work Mondays. How can I work Mondays if I'm sitting here right now? That is I should have been at work right now. Oh, you're at the basketball game. Nah, by then it'll be done. Ah. It's this week, next week, and the week after. If it's this week is the final round, there's still two weeks of finals. That's it. Ah, uh, but this week, the next week, the Brownlow's. When's the Brownlow? Like not the twenty fourth. So not this week. The next, no, not next week. The week after. Fuck, it's ages away. Fuck. Yes, hell. it's like a decent while away. I'll read it out to. You. I'm gonna read out a calendar to you so you know what it is. So it goes: the next week is the sixteenth, and the week after the twenty third. It's on that one. If we make the grand final, we're in that game, right? Mm. But then the game could be like early, the game could be later. We have to watch it. Oh, I can't wait, mate. We actually should watch it all together. No, not not go to like a sporting game watch, because that's shit. No, I mean like, go to some... Oh. How many is doing it? He has been, but then as well, he told us he was building it in 2021, and we're in okay. 2020, almost in 2025, and he's just started building it. And I don't want... I'm saying, we're saying it's on camera. Like we're, I know, like people know, oh, the Paducah Cave. Yeah. No, but I want like the Calvin Collier boys just there. Just there. Damn, so Caden doesn't get the invite. Yeah, no, nah, I can't I don't want to hear it. Well <laughs> Merrick's not getting any votes. Oh, I didn't even get all Australian. <laughs> <laughs> like a noob. <laughs> no, nah, we we love Zach Merritt. I like I've never like Do you reckon are we the only ones like saying we want them to die? No, I reckon. Like do you yeah. genuinely want I want it to happen? I want a tie. Because that means they both like Crips still wins it, so who cares? And he's got one. Obviously, it would be better, like, for you guys, Crips, to just clear it, win it, and then a fast Nick to just clear win it. But I think... And Crips has got one, so. It's it just in such a way where, like, our clubs would finally just have to, like, come together. Just for yeah, one... Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And, like, everyone always wants to shit on Nick so for you, this, and cheer? everyone wants to shit on Crips for that. Do you cheer? Like, say, like, that happens, like, Crips gets the one vote to tie it. What well, you, well do, let, do let me ask you yeah. this. Let me ask you this. When you go to draws at the footy, do you cheer? No. Exactly. You won't cheer. You'll be like, what the nah, fuck? No, I think if Cruz gets the one vote to tie it, then I'll... Oh, yeah, you'll cheer in that scenario because you've, like, bought it to a draw. But then when they go, a draw, you'll be like... Well, everyone will just be like, what the fuck? Yeah. What? Nothing will be like how I celebrated when Cruz won it. Well, your whole fan base celebrated like that because that was yeah. the only thing you've had it, you had had for, like, and we'll nine years. And just for him to, like... Yeah. He's, like, the fucking leader. So, yeah, it'll be very, very... It'll be very interesting. Because, you know what it is? This may sound, like, cocky, but, like... I know, I don't want to say I know, I think Nick will win more in his career. So that's why I'm like, do you reckon? Just one, just I can make one, one or two more. I think Nick probably has, after this, probably one or if two more. If he doesn't get it this year, he will win one more, but I think one or two more. Yeah. 
do we go back to the finals real quick? Because yeah. we speak about Brownlow every single episode. Like it, like it is happened. fucking sick, bro. I can't wait. I've never been this hot. <laughs> like 2032, I wasn't even hot because I didn't think you'd win it. Bro, you know what I just realised? Oh. Nobody's going to watch our episode on the 23rd because it's Brownlow night. Ah. It's grand final episode, but we'll just be talking about it. live stream the Brownlow. We'll play college football yeah. and then live stream the Brownlow afterwards. But anyway, finals. We actually should live stream us watching the Brownlow. Oh, We'd be, be hilarious. No, but we can't. Why can't you? Because he goes for such a big... True. And oh, out. You say something more than... Nah, me, I haven't said anything. Oh, yeah, would, you, we, would you say would something? You, Alton might walk in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, might say right. something. Um, anyway. No, nah, yeah. Was... Sydney Giants. Uh, we, this is so uncool. Nah, I feel nah, bad for go, people so, watching yeah, it. It's Giants, um, Brisbane. Giants, Brisbane. I got... Giants. Brisbane. Really? Yeah. I got Giants. I got Brisbane going to the grand finals. Really? Yeah. I got Giants. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you the first two times. Oh, uh, and then Port Hawthorne. I got, I got Hawks. Yeah. yeah. But they lost Frost, Hawk so ball. I don't know. Hawkball. Hawkball. Is it Hawk or Hawk? Hawk. Well, that's how it's spelled. Hawkball. Hawkball. Um, prelims. Well, um, we have to get through the semis first. Can't be. Yeah, but let's just predict. Okay. Um, so, Hawks versus Sydney. Sydney win. Sydney win. But I would love that game because it's like we grew up on those grand finals, Hawks and Sydney. So that would be like, I'm going to get so excited. Yeah, you know what else would be the grand final? Hawks for long. That's like a yeah, rivalry. That'd be such a good one. Is it Easter? They do Easter Monday, yeah. yeah. But then the two times they versus here, Geelong have just destroyed them. Mm. So they'll be pretty boring. I think Sydney make it to the grand final. Yeah. See, if Sydney lost... I, I would have said I Sydney straight set. Yeah. <laughs> because they won, I'm like, Sydney grand final. Sydney yeah, grand Sydney grand final. final. Um, Papley's been good for them too. He did yeah. good. Apply Sydney, that bit of flair. Sydney grand final, and then uh, Geelong will be Giants, and it's a rematch. So Sydney, Geelong, you got... My bracket goes Hawks beat Port, Brisbane beat Giants. So we get two straight sets teams. Then we got... Um, what would it then be? Brisbane Geelong, Brisbane win. Then we got Sydney Hawks, Sydney win. It's a Sydney Brisbane grand final. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it'll be an interstate grand final. Who would I say is a premier? Sydney. Out of your one, Sydney. It's tough because Sydney don't play first quarters and Brisbane don't play last quarters. So it's kind of going to be interesting. Brisbane make it, though. I think this year they can. I don't know why. I think. There's some two of them, I don't know. I think Sydney. But then if Geelong... Sydney, Brisbane do get underrated a lot. If it's Geelong, Sydney, I think Geelong win. Everyone loves on Hawthorne for being on five making finals. Brisbane were also like dead shit nothing as well. Mm. They were terrible and they got in there. I think Brisbane can apply something. If they lose this week, then they're not applying anything. But... Obviously. <laughs> I think I they mean, can make their final. I think it will be Sydney Giants, Brisbane. Whoever wins that prelim, if they make it to the prelim... Um, that's who wins grand final. But we both have... Actually, a Sydney GOS grand final would be good too. Yeah. Well, we just had that Just game. interstate though, that's the thing. You uh, need a Melbourne team. You need a Victorian team representing you. Or Hawks. I don't want to win that. I... Because they annoyed me. Cause I they, want Hawks doing, to win they it. They did what we did, but better. I want Hawks to win it. I want but them to... I see po- Hawth- us in Hawthorne. Our, our last year in Hawthorne, mm. that's what I see. Yeah. Like, they're kind of... They're playing like us. They're like, really good. They would lose the prelim. Respectably, I think they'll do better next year though. They yeah. won't fall off like we did. I think they might get a harder draw, and I feel like they might go like eighth or something. I don't think they'll be a top three. People were like a rating, like, oh yeah, they'll be scary next year. I think they might have not like a drop off, no, but I a think little. It'll take them time. Uh, they'll uh, still be like a little they trip. Could make top four. A little trip up. Not top two. No, I won't make top two, no chance. Fourth to eighth. Fourth to eighth, I can give them maybe. Um, but. We both, which I thought was pretty cool just then, both have Port Adelaide straight sets back to back years. Yeah. They've just done a Melbourne. And is it time for Ken Hinkley to go? Because there's a lot of talk as well in that. Yes. Win or loss this week, Ken Hinkley to go, or only if they lose? Oh, no, only if they lose. And then if they lose next week, is it Ken Hinkley to go? Nah. Because then they make a prelim, you can say. Mm. He's been coaching for 11 all years, hasn't been a can take his one game, so. Yeah. Well, they did beat Sydney by 100 points. Yeah. But then I also lost to DeLong by like yeah, 100 so points. <laughs> but I think, uh, yeah, he probably goes. You'd have to. You have to pull the plug. 
been talked about too much now. 11 years he's coached. Lose. They'll lose. I reckon they'll lose. They'll lose. You can't even say, oh, but it's at Adelaide. No, it's not play 83 at Adelaide. It's not, it's not a fortress to them. It's not that exciting. Anyway, I think Geelong grand final. Win the grand final. Is that your prediction? Your yeah. double-double prediction? I got... I don't want to say Sydney. It's so boring. Ah, oh, Sydney. Who, who would have guessed? Uh, you know what? I'll go the opposite end. I'll go Brisbane. Brisbane Grand Final. Brisbane Premiers. Um, so back to the brown light. Who do you think is a, <laughs> a, sli- a sneaky like chance? Chance or like just he'll get in that top three? No, nah, to win it. Like not Dacos. Who would be the one? If it's not Dacos or Cripps, who would win it? I think Neil. Neil. Yeah, but that's, an, that's not a sneaky that. one. That's an obvious sneak. No, nah, it's not though because... It's, it's an obvious sneaky there. But like, if I it's not going to be them two, it's obviously like, you know, I think the sneaky one you could put up there, like a bunt or something. But then oh, as well, that's right. obvious though. Like, those are it's obvious really plays obvious, that was going to be up there. Oh, but like for a top five, they're the obvious five. Yeah, top five, yeah. Butters? Tom Green could be up there. Uh, he could pull a lot of votes. He had a lot of 40 I reckon he gets games. votes for some reason. I, I reckon he's like Trelaw. He doesn't get votes. Yeah, I don't reckon he gets votes. Um, Heaney? Like you reckon Heaney could Heaney was still good though. The thing with Heaney is you gotta divide his votes between him, Warner, and it, Goulden. It's mm. a lot of votes to divide. You reckon he could get first though? And he won't win it, but you reckon. No, 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 no. I reckon I reckon he'll probably only he poll. Because he wasn't that good this week. It was yeah, I reckon he'll only poll about like 25, 26. Yeah. He'll come fourth, I reckon. It'll be like a like a Petrarca type thing. Yeah. You never like just get him just yeah. enough. Is Petrarca a crack at it? Goulden? No and no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the trucks are crack at it. Yeah, win it. Nah, both of them no chance of it. Um, because again, Gordon, you have to split his votes between mm. Gordon more. He has to split his votes between him and Warner. I feel like Gordon's like a finals player now. Yeah. But as we said before, but then you said we'll speak about it later. Baz Lanka said, "I'm out of here." Where's he going? Oh, yeah. Quick prediction. Is it Hawthorne? Geelong. Oh, you got Geelong. Oh, I can see him in Geelong jersey. You always say that. I can see him in this jersey. I don't care what jersey you see him in. Where do you think he Geelong. will be? Do you think Geelong? Yep. So not Hawthorne? No. Not oh, Hawthorne? Yeah, Hawthorne. <laughs> Hawthorne or Geelong? Hawks or Geelong. Yeah, I think Hawks or Geelong. There was always a talk about him coming to us, but I don't think. Why not? To us. When he, he went to America to take us and took a photo of Ben Simmons. Because <laughs> it's a trade. Yeah, and he took a photo of Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons posted a net, black and white. He went through the take us. <laughs> it's all the invisible strings. No, but I think as well, like, Again, the same with the drug thing. It's a trade. What do we have to trade? <laughs> like, you, we can't yeah, put, you can't link yeah. us to it anymore. I think, yeah, I think Geelong there, maybe. maybe. Contract, yeah. I think Ge- I think Geelong. Hawks, I don't see them want that. Hawks won't want to give up what they have you right just now. I just want him to go to the Hawks. Yeah. I want him, but I think he'll go to Geelong. Yeah, probably something. Well, I want him to go to Collingwood, but I think he'll go to Geelong. <laughs> I think would Hawks don't want like to give up what him? they have. Would you like to have him? I'd probably want to have him more than I would Petrarca. Who would he, so he's a winger. Who would, who's, who's your wing? Josh Dacos? Josh and Sidebottom. Oh, perfect. That's Sidebottom cool. is slowly retiring now. Yeah. And he, Sidebottom, they uh, heavily use this year as like they want to play him on the halfback a lot. I hate Bailey Smith. Bazlenka. I hate him. I think you went through a phase that you hated him too. Yeah. I still don't really like him. Yeah. You it's not that I don't ha- like him. I like him. If he plays this year, you're going to like him. Yeah. But I think now I've like just forgotten about him because he hasn't played the whole season. But I used to hate, like, mm. fucking hate him. Remember? I don't remember why. No. Why do I hate? You don't remember that? No, I do remember you hated him. Yeah. Why do I? Why do I hate? Why did I hate him? Was he? It was just like a Ginnaman. He was like a. Well, I think that as well. What? What color is this? White. Ah. Uh, I think you always used to say that okay. as well. You used to be like ruggy, ruggy. That was strip like. That. I uh, think nah. Uh, the thing with Bazlanka was it was because everyone just like. That. Shit. Nah, that I thought was sick. That was like cool. That was like I hate him. balls move right there. There was something else he used to do that pissed me. I think he just pissed me off. He was, I think like, it was just he because was like a Ginnivan non Collingwood type player, you know? He was like a and everyone would just annoy him. He just thought he was like the pretty boy of the AFL. Like he, he was just too fun. good for everyone. Well, hey. Nah, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to tell us something on double double? Nah, I hate Bailey Smith. But if you want to come to Belgium. Feel free. <laughs> and just another one on the list. Do ACL again. <laughs> oh, it's a, like a Lakers player. Let's bring him over. It does nothing. Do you reckon he'll be the same? Because he was doing pretty good. No matter where he goes. 
Or yeah, like, no, like okay. you reckon he'll be able to perform like he used to? Because he was he was a pretty good he was top he was a top player. Would I put him as like an all round level player? No. Would so I, you don't reckon he'll be the same like ever than what he was doing? I think it's like because he was not to the extent of like a D Rose type shit, not to that yeah. extent. So you reckon he will drop off a bit? It will. Everyone drops off after an injury. Your body's never the same oh, after an injury. Twenty four. It's pretty. He's still, still pretty young. Because he was doing really good. Um, did he? He never got all Australian, did he? I don't think so. Too young, but yeah. His body will obviously decline, so you see some drop in his game. He won't be better. I don't think you can you can be better after an injury. But I think you'll still do good. Still do good, hundred percent. But he did hold up a very Geelong high standard. Geelong just would never just drop. Our generation just to trade too. Yeah, I know. It's fucked. That Dempsey's good too. Good player. Oh, Dempsey. He, well, he won Rising Star. Yeah. Oh well. Geelong. I think we've just drained everything. I think once we got through the Carlton talk, we just were like, brown low. Yeah. Okay. And then we've just been yapping about other shit. It's always just about us, these two teams. <laughs> That's all we care Honestly. about. Honestly. And ev- every week we end the episode by just by staring at this. I've noticed. If Carlton and Colin were to merge, some, some reason, like, they both went like their money was like horrible. Like, they had no money. They had no one like putting money into the club, so they couldn't afford anything. And they had to merge with each other. Like, it was just them two. It was just a coincidence. Just them two had happened to. They had to merge. Would we win the premiership? I thought about this, and I wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago on an episode, but I've forgotten to do it since. Let's go through the team. I the wanted teams. to, yeah, and build like the best twenty-two. Yeah, and who we get rid of, who we keep. So you will start at the back line. So obviously you'd have more and Weidering in there. Yeah, more and Weidering are the two obvious ones. You have got four more spots. That's your full backs. I reckon you put Quainer in there. Yeah, I reckon you put McGovern in there. Do you need that many backs though? Probably on the interchange. No, I reckon you go like so. So it'd be your full backs would be um, Weedering, Moore, and McGovern, right? And then you'd go on your half back. You'd go Quainer, Newman. I think How I'd put up How. Uh, nah, start over Newman. Nah, I'm putting Newman. nah. I'd put start too though. <laughs> See, but I'll put Brazzy as well. Fuck, what Our back line is good. That's what it is. Come, come okay. Get the final next year. <laughs> give the back line to us and we'll give you the forward line, basically. No, well, you have to give us the forward line. <laughs> nah, but you Bruh. still. Ash Johnson, you're saying yeah, he's a forward nobody. forward line is one of the reasons we're bad, but. Okay, Let, let's start with the forward line then. No, 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 we have to work out this back line. <laughs> okay. Okay, all let's. I right, do this. Name, I'll name my back line and say who you'd get rid of. Okay. Like, as in, like, I'll name... Okay, how about this? I'll name the Shortlist Carlton three Carlton Backman, and I'll shortlist three Collingwood Backman. Actually, we should do it like that, yeah. <laughs> we should do it like... You know when there's an expansion team? In the no. NBA? Yeah. They have to keep... Okay, so the back line... Oh, that's too tough. Yeah, back line's probably our best thing. Weedering, Newman, and Saad. I'll go. You go Weedering, Weedering Newman, Saad. Okay. I'll like, go... Yeah. More... Fuck! I'll do it for you. More Quainer and Maynard. Because think about it. If you put in Weedering, but the thing Newman is with- and Saad, the players you don't want to keep, right? We, our players can like also like fill in that role. Mm. And you're just going to be our player. That's the thing. That's why I didn't put McGovern because you can have... See, but I think it would Maynard. be good how over Maynard because you get an aerialist, like Maynard an aerial fist, though. though. And you need like that... You need that brute player. You already oh, got a Crips there. Um, Lockie Cowan... Nah, um, so alright. Nah, we'll go, okay, I'll go Maynard, Pick, Quainer, yeah. and Moore. Alright, so we have Weedering, Fullback, Moore, um, who did I say? Newman. Weedering, Newman, and Saad. Saad, Quainer, Maynard, Maynard, Moore. You should write this down. <laughs> I'll write it down, I'll write it down. Okay, so oh, that's, this is fun. <laughs> that's a strong six. I've been wanting to do this for that's weeks now. That's a fucking All-Australian back line, man. So Weedering, Moore, who was the other one? Newman. Go Newman back there. So they're the full backs. Oh, they're full backs. Oh, yeah. I'll fix it after. And then IQ, Saad. Bruz, and Saad. Okay. That's a that's a strong back line. Great back line. Do we want to do Four, midfield now? Midfield's going to be tough. Wingers, our two wingers, I think it's obvious. Josh Dacos. And Akers. Okay. Ah, oh, this, is, this is cool. This is a cool team. How can we make these teams go bankrupt? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Jacos on the wing with Acres. Yeah. Okay, in the midfield. Okay. How are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it like they do with all Australian team or just? Okay, so how, how do you want to do? Do you I want to have Ruffin. two ruckmen or just one ruckman? He has to get two ruckmen. Okay. But one on the bench. Yeah, Cameron on the bench, TDK on the ground. No, but do you play two ruckmen? It's all part of the game plan. Would do you use play two ruckmen? Well, we have Cox as a second ruck. Mm. No, I think you put one ruck. In the whole team. Yeah. And what the second ruck is Mackay realistically. Nah, I'd put a second rock. Yeah, you probably need a second rock. Okay, we'll go. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so we'll go TDK on this. We'll start Ground, TDK. yeah. And then and put DC on the bench. Yeah, bench. Okay. Oh, but then DC did get all Australian selected. No, TDK there. Um, mm. Yeah, TDK there. Don't okay. question it. Um, and then the followers around. So the two followers. Crips. Crips and Nakos. Is he like a. Or would people that are more of like a. Yeah, all right, Crips and Dacos. Crips and Nakes. Okay, and then the actual midfield. Degoe, Walsh. Pendles. Them four. Yeah. Okay. Geordie. Fuck, that's a, that's a strong midfield. you got to have Pendles in there. The IQ you get in that. I was going to say Pendles because of the age. Oh, you need like a bit of mature, like a... Veteran. Like a Hodge type role. Or okay, do you, don't answer. You wouldn't go like Chera. You wouldn't put Chera. Maybe Kennedy instead of Pendle Reed, but you wouldn't put Tom Mitchell. No, I will not put Titch. I wouldn't put Crisp. I, I, I don't reckon like he had that great of a. I like that midfield. The only one I'd switch, I would put. Obviously, I can't switch your player, but I'd put Crisp instead of Hewitt. No, nah, I'll put Hewitt. Well, obviously, I can't move your player, but. Anyway. Okay, forward line now. Who's your three forwards, and I'll pick my three forwards. I three forwards this year. I can probably pick two. Two, you. Yeah, I'd... Nah, you will you have us. Hold on. What do you think? Kerno Mackay, obviously. Just do your three. Kerno Mackay, obviously. And then Owies. Owies. Mm. But I'm just thinking, because all you have is small forwards, so you put... Obviously, we got Elliot. Obviously, you put Hill. That's very small forward. Line. Do we put a... We don't need a damn say. You can put a checkers. Nah. What about Jack Martin? No, well it's th- you have your three, now it's my three. Oh. Uh, Bud. Well, I'm just trying to think of height. I'm trying to know if I replace Ollie's. Which yeah, we replace Ollie's out of it. Oh, Elliot no, Hill. We still have the interchange. Kuno, Mackay, Ollie's, let's go. Yeah, I can, I can put Lipinski in there. Oh, Hoskin Elliot, actually. I put Will oh, Hoskin Elliot, actually. It's half forward, too, so. I put Will Hoskin Elliot in there, actually. Because that a versatile okay, player for the mine. team. I changed mine. There you go. Kerno Mackay, Elijah Hollands. I'll go E Hole. Yeah, I'll put Hoskin Elliot because he's very diverse. Like you can put him yeah. anywhere. And then the interchange. Hill and Elliot. Hill and Elliot, yeah. That four line. Got the smalls. So you got smalls in Elliot Hill. You've got the mid size in Hoskin and Holland. Yeah. And you've got the bigs in Kerno and Mackay. Oh, that's, wow. <laughs> that's a strong side. And then the interchange. You've got DC. Crisp, I reckon. Yeah. That's our two players. I need to fuck this up because <laughs> I'm need to think. I feel like I'm forgetting people. Who would I put? So you got two. Is there only four? I think we're forgetting a player. Oh, Carlton. No, like on the team, like on the ground. <laughs> because there's only 21 players on the ground. Mm. Six, 12... 13 plus 2, 15 plus 6, 21. There's supposed to be someone else. There's supposed to be another midfielder. <laughs> Is there, it's just, I think there's supposed to be another follower behind the Ruckman. No, because there's Ruck Rover and then. Okay, we're, we are not football fans. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, two followers. There's on four on the interchange. Team lineups. Like on a game. There's three followers, actually. No, it's the Ruckman and then two behind. So what we've done... Show me. Yeah, there's three followers. Yeah. Oh, the Ruckman counts as a follower. Yeah. What have we done? I think we put an extra midfielder in there on the team. How? Bro, isn't there only 18 on a fucking ground? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we put yeah, we put okay, so we either gotta take out Geordie, Walsh, Pendles or Hewitt. Pendles. Nah, I reckon Hewitt. Beginning of the year for yeah, I'm looking for I reckon Hewitt. I reckon Hewitt. You can't I, take I out Pendles, mate. Pendles. Oh, I can't take Hewitt on the bench. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying out of the team. Okay, Hewitt on the bench. And then you guys get the last bench player. Because we already got DC and Crisp. Always. Always gets the cut. And then out of those four, DC, Chris, Hewitt, and Ollie's, who's Actually, the sub? instead of Ollie's, I put McGovern. I like McGovern. And then who's the sub? Actually, I put Williams. Oh my God, mate. And who's the sub? Um, It'd be one of those four players. Who's the sub? Probably Williams. You can probably play him in a little bit anyway, in a sense. Yeah, but... Uh, We'd actually put Hoskin Elliott as the sub, because you can play him everywhere. Nah, I'd do Williams, because he can Williams. be a defender. Okay, this is this is this is a strong pretty, side. Pretty techie team. Jump a punch. I want to hear what I want to hear what Rocco would have to say about this team. The back line: Weedering, Moore, Newman, IQ, Bruzzy, and Sard. That's scary. That, that's a good back line. Mm. Then we go into the midfield: TDK, Cripps, Nakos, Geordie, Walsh, Pendles. Pretty good. Now going out into the wings: Jacos. And acres. Good. So far, we're looking very strong. Go to the forward line. Elliot, Hill, Hoskin, Kerno, Mackay, Hollands, Elijah, not Ollie, not to be mistaken. Go to the bench. DC, Crisp, Hewitt, and Williams as sub. Fuck it, no, that is a scary team. All the jerseys look like. Cox snubbed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the jerseys look like. What would the jerseys look like? I reckon it'd be the black and white stripes, stripes with that. With that. <laughs> yeah. In the middle. Oh, I guess. Should that. Have we just given the AFL an idea? The blue and black stripes. Have. You know what I reckon we should do? There should be a round. Not probably a round. You know how they did AFL X? Mm. They should do like a pre season or like mid season type shit. We join forces. Adelaide and Port Adelaide join you know forces. Teams are fucking bad. <laughs> we're not talking about anything yet. We're not talking about our individual sides. We're talking about it equipment to come together. No, it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> no, it can't. Imagine it happened. No chance it can. Unless it was an expansion team and we just lost everyone. Mm. Then that team can be made, but no chance. Imagine that happened. That's a good team. You would win. How many premierships are you going to win? From now. From now. Ages and everything. From now. Like how the players are playing now. So you've got Cripps and Dacos in um, Brownlow form. Mm. Kerno's winning Coleman's. The only one that's old is Pendles. And he still has a very like high... You need like that veteran yeah. type. Elliot's old as well. You've got Weedering All Australian. More will pick up, maybe. Bobby Hill's still like 22. Yeah. He's still a normal Smith medalist. Stuff. Yeah. Two best wingers in the league. Mm. I reckon they almost are. Yeah, I reckon they are. Mate, uh, this is a... I think you'd win. You'd win next year. You'd win. Make sure you comment who you think should be in that team, yeah. actually. Because I reckon we've missed out on a lot of players that should have been. I reckon you'd win the next five. You'd win five? Next. Yep. I don't think it's going to be that much. That's a good team, bro. Three, I'd say. Five. One. You get one. Um, you got to count for injuries, mate. We'll get one out of it. No, nah, if, he, if he's on a premiership side, he'll, he'll, he'll linger around. <laughs> he'll linger. He'll just, he'll just linger. But then you've got to think there's going to be injuries. And then you've got... Then you still got... With those injuries... We know how much injuries affect our sides. Yeah. So. <laughs> then you go to injuries and then... So oh. we need, who's, and then we have like our... So then we merge the players. So then everyone's playing. <laughs> merge selection. But that's like our best, right? Yeah. Then if like, oh no, Mackay got injured. Damn mistake and step up. And then it's like, oh no... Uh, Quayna got injured. Not we still no, got no, Hale no, or someone. Or we'll say a Colonel or Mackay gets injured, Cameron goes into a ruck. TDK goes forward. Yeah. Oracle. And like then five. we still got Johnson and Fox. Five in a row, but you win five. Yeah, oh, it'd be, it'd be a, it'd that's a good, good side. It's a good side. How have we? That just, midfield, Jesus Christ! One non-finals appearance and one blowout finals yeah, that's a performance, good side. and we're just like, yeah, let's form, let's join together. <laughs> Yeah. Realistically, we would not be talking about joining forces if there was no close Brownlow race. So who's one player from Carlton that would improve your side like Kerno, tremendously? Obviously. So that's the only that's who you would take. We need a tall forward. Would you take Kerno? So yeah, that's like if you had Kerno, to pick one. Kerno or Weedering, I reckon. You take Weedering. We need a back down yeah, and one one back. Take the same. I'd take um You take Kerno and Weedering? 
Cox or no. Nah. <laughs> I'd take uh, Dacos, Nick or Moore. No, nah, not Moore. Dacos or Josh probably or Geordie. Probably like the Geordie role. Geordie's just no, a lower version a of Crips. We need a defender. I think Dacos or like a maybe a Moore. Yeah, Moore. Like a tall backman or just a mid-side Yeah, like back? another one to help leader in. Billy Frampton. He also didn't make our yeah. cut. That would be a good side that's never going to happen. No. Could you imagine that? Fuck, that would be the biggest team. Which, well, where would it be? Either way, we're, either way, Magpies, either way we're still CFC. Either way. Yeah, we are. Either way. Uh, I think it would be the Collingwood Blues or the Carlton Magpies. What sounds better? I reckon the Carlton Magpies. Carlton Magpies probably sound better. Or the Colling- either way they sound good. I'd just rather it, the, the, it be in Carlton, you know what I mean? Like the... Because I, I reckon Carlton's a better area than Collingwood. This is how the song would go. You know that too. This is how the song would go. <clears throat> you go. Da, 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 da. Right? And then it'd go, good old Carlton Magpies forever. <laughs> and then what's your like third line in your song? Or second? You know what I mean? We are the old dark magpies. Right? And then it goes to We're our line. They never let you down. Okay. And then it goes to our line. We can just skip to Oh the Premiership's We're a cakewalk. We're the team that never lets you down. Oh the Premiership's it's a cakewalk. cakewalk. For the good old Carl Magpies. Oh, <laughs> this is your answer, <laughs> AFL. Hey, we went to 80. Oh my. Oh my. If, if someone just clicked on this show, like they don't know anything about Double Double, they're thinking we're fucking like go for each other's teams because we want them to look high the down low. We want the teams to merge. But you know what's the funniest bit? What? You have the same feeling for my team. I have the same feeling for your team. We cannot stand each other. Yeah. But for some reason, because this close Brownlow race, we're like, let's join forces, yeah. boys. Yeah, it's so weird. We were supposed to end this episode like 20 minutes ago. I know. All right, let's end this episode. I've got a game to prefer. No one's probably even watching. I know. We probably just made that whole team and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> everyone clicks off as soon as we stop talking about Carl. Yeah, probably. Uh, Schnitz Northland, 17% off if you're a That's subscriber. That's a sponsor. Yes, mate. <laughs> Oh, oh, good one. Where will we play? The G or Marvel? <laughs> bro. <laughs> Monica, bro, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since the all fans, 17% off if you're a subscriber. Make sure you subscribe. 25% off if you're a member. And you will get 100% off if you, if Colin and Carlton join horses, I reckon. Yeah, but <laughs> if they merge here and those exact teams happen, you'll be I will like, shout every jump a bunch of you up. I'll Schnitz. shout every Carlton Magpies member yeah. a fucking Schnitzel if that happens. Uh, a basic like, instant if that happens. <laughs> Isn't that what, it's like 100 years down the line, we're on our like, deathbeds and they just find this yeah. video. Yeah, hey, mate, we need it. Uh, well, you know what? It's not going to happen, so we just wasted our and time. We're both out of finals and that's it. But yeah, but you know what doesn't matter because NFL started, so getting into that and NBA starting in forty days. Yeah. Yeah, NBA will be starting. That's and fair. NFL Chiefs won, Bills won. That's all that matters. Yeah. Jordan Love got injured. We thought the Packers were going down. It's just nice jersey. They lost to the Chiefs. They did lose to the Chiefs. I probably shouldn't have won. The lost. foot was on the line. <laughs> the foot was on the line. <laughs> That's from the going off. That is actually from the going off. That's you know how I knew. Because tonight in our basketball game, we're running that play. You know that they run? That. I'm going to see the foot was on the line. You know, the play that they run where they like yeah, motion yeah. 78. We're running that tonight as a joke. That's good. It's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching Double Double. Love you as always. Go Blues. Go Pies, even though neither of them are still in finals. <laughs>